you by AXA. Investments and superannuation. Good evening, I'm Joe Hall. The north coast of New South Wales is still underwater tonight. Hundreds of people have been evacuated and rising floodwaters could force many more from their homes. The uh, hard part will be cleaning up afterwards and knowing when it's going to stop rising. The Clarence River failed to reach its threatened peak, sparing the town of Maclean. But in Kempsey, the Maclay River peaked at seven metres, causing major damage. Meanwhile, Queensland's devastating storms have claimed a second victim. A 50-year-old man drowned south of Brisbane after his car was washed off a flooded causeway. In South Australia, nine children have been injured, two of them seriously, after falling six metres from an inflatable castle after it was blown into the air by a strong gust of wind. The accident occurred at Carpunda, 70 kilometres north of Adelaide. Democrats founder Don Chip has weighed into the party's leadership battle, calling on Meg Lees to step down. Mr Chip says Natasha Stott Despoia is the person to revive the party's electoral fortunes. I say to Don, this is very disappointing. I am sad because he has got his facts wrong. And I certainly didn't solicit his support. I didn't expect it uh, publicly and I'm very grateful to him. The National Museum has opened in Canberra more than 100 years after it was first proposed. It's the centrepiece of our centenary of Federation celebrations. Farlap's heart is among the displays. To sport and wild scenes in Calcutta on the first day of the second test between India and Australia with an historic hat-trick for Habajan Singh, the first fine Indian in a test. He's given him! He's given him! He's given him! Back home, Sweden's Sophie Gustafsson has won the Women's Australian Open Golf Championship by one stroke from world number one Carrie Webb at Melbourne's Yarra Yarra Golf Club. Tomorrow's weather, it'll be wet in Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, Hobart and Darwin, partly cloudy in Adelaide and a fine day for Perth and Brisbane. And that's all the news for now. Good night.